this is the final product. It's a really nice case. I actually really like it. <clears throat> it's very small, very compact. The only drawback that I've noticed is heat. It does produce a lot of heat. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you everything I put inside of it when I made it. So that way you guys can really see what I did. It's a really cool case. It was very small, very compact, a little difficult to get some things in, but I, I really did <clears throat> enjoy putting it together. I didn't really do much of cable management because it's a small case and it's hidden by vents. So you don't really see everything, but <clears throat> so there's thumb screws on the tops of every single side panel and the front panel. Uh, it looks like the front panel does come off too. So you can access everything you want, which I'm going to take all of it off so you can see exactly what it is. It's really cool. The thumb screws actually stay intact with the uh, board. There we go. There's one side with the filter, slide in filters. It's convenient. It's nice. Nice to know. So the side panels obviously are a little bit bigger than the back panels. The back panels have a little rubber, rubber grommet. Slide everything through, keeps everything nice and neat. Well, it's got a little magnetic top so it helps hold it all on. <clears throat> all right, so this is the case. Looks really neat, just open, actually. I kind of like it. If I had it out and hanging out with uh, on my desk, I would actually leave it just bare. It's kind of cool looking. So, the motherboard doesn't sit normally. You actually flip it around be 90 degrees. Um, instead of it being on the back side, it goes to the top, which allows you to have a graphics card, full-size graphics card, inside the case, which I thought was really neat and one of the big buying points of this case that I did. Um, it's an RX 580 and uh, it has a little bit of room so if we decide to upgrade to a newer card then we can and it'll handle it. Um, power supply is really cool. Very tiny. Uh, I really like it. I think it's kind of cool uh, instead of this gigantic power supply that you normally have. For size comparison, I mean here's the small form factor and there's the tiny and the regular size. That's a big difference. 600 watts, fully modular, uh, really cool, working well so far. This is going in my computer. <clears throat> um, power supply mounted down here actually has a cable that runs through it. There's a plug right here and that runs all the way to the top. So you plug in the power, you plug in your power to that. Everything, all the cables go out that back grommet and then this top, let's see if I can do it without dropping it. This top is technically magnetic so all the other cases and the screws, it holds it on there. So it's pretty cool, has a little bit of room. Like I said, cable management, I didn't really worry about it too much because it's in a case um, but I am gonna add some fans it is not there's one fan on top and I don't think that's enough yeah so I might have to that's going out so I need some going in. Yeah. And it's a tiny fan. I think it's like 80. It's right here. So I'm going to... The power supply was definitely the trickiest part to get all the wires in. It's a rat's nest. Um, like I said. You know. But it, it, it all gets covered. You don't see it. So now I'm gonna figure out what fans I have and kind of go from there. All right, so I found a one black 120 millimeter fan from a K 
case that I'm going to be doing my next build on, but I don't need this. <clears throat> so I'm gonna see how one does for now. This is an exhaust, so I'm gonna do an intake. Hopefully see if that helps. It's got a lot of mesh and holes, so hopefully it'll be also kind of like passive. So I'm gonna put it up here. Yeah, put it up here for the top. Oh, so I'm gonna have to route the eight pin <clears throat> CPU this way so it's not in the way. I don't know how well that's gonna go for me, but I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll find out. Just trying to see if I can give myself a little bit more room when it comes to the uh, fan so the wires are hitting it. And see how it goes. Now the CPU wasn't thermal throttling or shutting off, it just I didn't like the fact that it was really warm when you put your hand back there. So I'm changing it because I don't like that. But <clears throat> well that works. There you go. Okay, this back in. Okay, so there's only one fan header, and I don't have an adapter. So, uh, too small of a fan. I'm going to use this bigger fan uh, to do an exhaust out the side. I'll probably do it down below. Yeah, I mean, we'll figure it out. All right, let's see what happens. So, LED lights up at night, down at the bottom, really cool, pulsating, and then I have the Wraith cooler inside there. Oh, so you can use the button on top and have it cycle through, you know, different color settings, whatever color you want. Cool. I like it. It's neat. 
so I think that wraps it up for the first video of Tech Bites with Sean. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, or if you feel like you want to, go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you would like to see anything else coming up. Um, any questions or comments or anything, leave a comment down below. Uh, thanks, we'll see you guys next time.